Hello right. everyone and welcome back to Indithon Fall Follies 2022, raising money for Cardwell children. We're currently sitting at $139 in total uh, for this event, uh, so it's a great start. And I'm really curious, will we reach 200 in this upcoming The Escapist plus The Escapist 2 run? We'll see. But anyway, uh, that's enough for me for this introduction. I will be your host uh, for the next couple hours for this run, basically. Uh, and here we are, here with I Like Turtles 14, uh, ready to get started. So take it away. All right. So I am I Like Turtles 14, and we will be starting the timer um, in three, two, one, go. All right, so the first glitch here is gonna be a desk glitch where we check desks um, all around us from just one desk. So uh, yeah, as you can see here, I'm clicking on other desks so we can search those. Pretty useful, saves a lot of time. And so for San Pancho, this first prism we're gonna do, uh, we need four items, the file, duct tape, timber, and sheet of metal. Uh, so we can make a shovel for digging our very long tunnel so we can escape. Um, so this will be a very reset heavy run uh, if we don't get the items, but that is okay. It should still fit in the estimate. And uh, yeah, so right now I'm just looking for the items. And all I need right now is timber and we should be good. Uh, so let me just check these desks. And nope, I'm gonna restart this. Boom. Alright. Um, it should shouldn't take too long to get this first run started. Um I would say this is one of the most RNG dependent levels of this whole run. So yeah, getting the the most uh, the hardest one out of the way first um, so yeah we already got the file and metal just need duct tape and timber nope um, you can actually buy timber for like ten ten dollars in this game so I might do that if I don't have timber but it's pretty rare for someone to be selling timber um, but yeah, once we get this, these items, then we should be all good. Um, duct tape and timber, please. Duct tape, all right, timber, please be in this. No, I'm gonna check for the people selling timber. Because um, if someone is selling it, then we can just buy it. Nope, all right. Oh, that is the wrong thing. All right, here we go. So another thing here when we're checking desks is you may notice that there is a clock on the bottom right left of the screen. Um, whenever it turns to morning roll call, that means the desks are actually switched. So it's not when you wake up in the morning, but it's actually at morning roll call, which means we can recheck desks that we um, already looked in before morning roll call. So that's why I'm double checking a couple of those desks up there. Um, has a chance to give us some more items, but usually nothing because it's weird how the game handles desks before morning roll call. It uh, sometimes has nothing in them or sometimes does have something in them. Um, so yeah, all I need right now is timber. Yep, there we go. All right, so now we can actually finally start this run. Um, we're gonna start off by doing another glitch, which is um, infinite, dur infinite durability glitch, um, which we're gonna perform on this fork. Boom. So now we can use the fork for an infinite amount of times. Um, and it's really useful, so we don't need to get like a bunch of forks for things. So I'm gonna leave the items right here, and we're gonna be gaining intellect from behind this wall. Um, because of the bookshelf's sprite and hitbox, you can actually check it behind a wall because it actually takes up two spaces. Um, and we need 80 intellect, so I think we start at 30. Shouldn't take too long. Um, 
So yeah, the reason I'm checking it in this room is because it's safer from inmates beating you up. You usually don't come in this room. Um, and even if they do, they probably won't beat you up. But yeah, inmates do try to beat you up in this prison because of how hot it is outside, apparently, in this prison. Uh, which makes sense, because it's like in a desert, I guess. Uh, but they get really mad, and most of them are going to try and beat me up. Hopefully they don't, because that would lose a little bit of time, but it's okay. So for this, um, just doing this over and over again. I'm going to check how much we got. 54, alright. Um, right now would be a good time to say anything. Picastroff, if you need to do any plugs or whatever. Oh, thank you. Um, yes, uh, this is a perfect opportunity to remind everyone uh, that we still do have a bid war uh, open uh, for this game, uh, which is a name incentive for the prisoner. Specifically, uh, since, as you know, this is obviously a run that includes both the escapist and the escapist 2, uh, this incentive is actually for the escapist 2. Um, so I'm not sure at what time you estimate the escapist 2 will start in the run, but that is that game start will be the deadline you have uh, for your donations. So you still have some time. And so if you want to have some fun with the names, well, right now is the perfect time for it. Yes, um, so if you just saw there, a guard took all of my items. So I'm gonna check these desks. And if we don't get anything, I have a, a backup save just for um, an emergency like this. So if we don't get the items on this one, then I'll just use that because uh, the guard actually took our items. Um, guards pick up items that are contraband items, um, so items with red names, and of course those are all of the items that I need to escape. Um, but it's fine, so we made the backup save, so if you don't get them here, which you probably won't, uh, it's okay. Uh, Alright, yeah, we're just going to use the backup save for this, which uh, gives me all the items for this in here. So I'm actually just gonna keep them in here. And uh, all this changes is that we just have the items. We still need to get the intellect and stuff. So it shouldn't be too bad. Um, gonna go back up here, do the infinite fork, or durability, durability glitch. Um, so yeah. Pretty weird how many glitches there are in this game. Pretty broken. The last update was like in 2016. Um, so yeah, alright, so we're just gonna get this intellect here, shouldn't take too long, it'll uh, be about, I think, 12.00 zero, zero in the timer, in the bottom left, when we finish the intellect, at least I hope so, um, and so you might have seen me do a little thing where I get shot by the snipers twice. Uh, whenever you get shot by a sniper in this game, you lose 50% of your uh, fatigue up here. And um, or uh, whenever you get knocked out. And the fastest way to get knocked out is by a sniper. So that is why we do the infinite durability glitch on the fork. So we can chip the wall and the sniper sees us, then shoots us. Um, so yeah, a pretty fast way of just losing all your fatigue. And yeah, pretty useful. Uh, so right here, we're just gonna get our fatigue down so we can chip the wall, and there we go. So we're about to actually get 99% heat because we didn't go to breakfast. So there we go. And we only got like a bit more of this um, intellect grabbing. So yeah. Um, sometimes a weird glitch that happens uh, is your fatigue goes down way faster than it should. Usually it goes down by one, uh, one percent each time, uh, whenever it does that. I don't know how much time between each, um, each one of those is, but sometimes when, or sometimes on special occasions, your fatigue goes down multiple percentages at a time. Uh, still don't know why that is. Uh, it's really useful though. Um, if we ever find a consistent way of doing that, that'll be very useful. But for now, I have no idea how to utilize that or do it consistently. So we're at 70 right now. We only need 10 left. And uh, yeah, then we'll start the actual interesting part of this run, um, which is a big glitch that was just recently found. Um, 
So yeah, just gotta do like I think nine more, I would think. Uh, no, six more. I'm actually gonna get an extra one just in case if our intellect runs down, because sometimes um, over time your stats go down uh, one by one. So it's good to always have just an extra bit of intellect here. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna get my fatigue down. Then you may be asking, well, how are you gonna drop the fork if it's invisible? Well, actually, there's a glitch to do that. There we go, we just revert it back, right back to normal, and it is all good. So what are we gonna do? What we're gonna do here is put these in the toilet, and we're gonna actually just duplicate these items. Um, messed up there, hold on. So yeah, we're just gonna duplicate these items, and yeah, this is uh, how we get the sturdy shovel. Um, and uh, yeah, if we couldn't do this, then this would not be like a day one speed run of San Pancho. It would be multiple days because of how much RNG you would need for the items. But thankfully to this glitch, you can get as many of these items as you want. Um, so yeah, we're just going to do it with these timber braces. And then we are going to start the digging process. Um, or actually going to start chipping a wall to get to the place where we need to dig. Um, so yeah, just gonna do the infinite durability glitch on the shovel, and we're gonna grab some of our timber braces. We can leave those there, I don't care if the guards get them. Some extra items. So I think right here is about to be exercise period. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna head to exercise period and wait out here so no, uh, no one beats me up. Cause you have a pretty high chance of being beat up when you're in a small room with a bunch of the inmates in this prison. Um, I think you can see that most of them have yellow, yellow to orange names, which means that they do not like you that much. Um, and when a prisoner doesn't like you, they are probably going to beat you up. So it's just safer to stay out here while they're all working out. And uh, yeah, once we, uh, once, once exercise period is done gonna go up here chip this wall it's a very specific wall that we need to chip um, so that no one sees it so I'm just gonna let all these guys go out and we're gonna start doing this so since we have the sturdy shovel this takes a lot faster than if we were just gonna do it with a fork um, I think it's double the speed um, so yeah the tunnel in this is gonna be very long um, and with a long tunnel comes a lots, lots of spots for there to be rocks. And uh, that can end a run on the spot, which is um, fine, because I can just make it into a two-day run. But still, not very, uh, not very good for time. Uh, so we're just going to dig down here. And so you may be wondering, um, how come the inmates do not see this? I have no idea. Probably because it's behind an exercise mat and some other walls, but I don't know. Um, usually they do not see that missing wall. Sometimes they do though, and that is not a good thing when they do, because then um, guards come in, and you know, that's not good at all. So we're just gonna do this because we have uh, fatigue all the way up. Gonna get beat up here uh, so we can get our fatigue down. Let's use Anthony. Yep. Alright. So we're just going to keep on digging. And we're going to come to a spot where there's an electric fence. Um, if any of you have played the game before, or at least have played San Pancho before, uh, you will know that there is a an electric fence that is very uh, tedious to get through. But we, uh, we have a glitch to get right through it. And it's really cool. Um, pretty funny as well. So yeah, you'll be seeing that whenever we get to it. And uh, so we're just going to hope that we have no rocks while digging. Um, rocks come in different shapes and sizes. So there are rocks that are 50%, 40%, or 30%. And 50% uh, are obviously the ones that you don't want to get because those take the longest to chip. And they also take the most time to get through. So yeah. Right here, you also may be seeing that we aren't getting any dirt in our uh, inventory, which is because we have um, items that we're putting in there 
um, in place of where the dirt would go. So we're just going to actually head up to evening meal for a second so we don't get 99% heat. It's really annoying when you do on this level with the shovel in your inventory. And uh, so yeah, we're just going to come back over here and you're about to see the cool glitch with the electric fence. So you can actually dig through the fence if you're fast enough with your mouse movements. Um, if I can get it right here, if I do it three times, um, pretty tedious, tedious glitch to get. Um, took me forever to figure out how to do it when I first started running this. If we can get this, that's the last one. Come on. <laughs> yeah, like I said, very hard to get. Um, there we go. And so far we have no rocks, which is actually really good. Um, so, yeah, that's like insanely good luck. Oh, there we go, jinxed myself. That's a 50% rock. And uh, yeah, definitely don't like those. Those waste a lot of time, but really, we're just gonna be escaping at night anyways, so it doesn't really waste time. It just makes it so that you may not be able to do a day one escape um, because of how much, or how, how little time we have to do all of the, all the things here. Sure, it's gonna beat up, get beat up twice, and we're gonna go back, get our shuffle, start digging some more, and we have just enough timber braces to um, dig a long enough tunnel to get to the spot where we need to dig up at night. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna head back down to the spot and go up here, get the timber braces, and keep chipping this stone. And so now that we're past it, you may see these landmines here, not very um, safe. Um, and it's the reason why we're making this huge hole. Wow, another stone. That's not very good, but it's okay. Um, usually two stones is fine. We only have two more timber braces to place, so it's okay. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna keep going along. We're gonna go past these landmines. Don't know why there's landmines in a prison. It's a pretty extreme way to keep prisoners um, from going out, but whatever they think that's best. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're almost done with the digging here. It's a basically a guaranteed run at this point. So yeah, uh, we got 100% fatigue. We need to dig one more tile at least. Um, we have just enough time to do it. As you can see, it's shower block. And so, yeah, we gotta do this very quickly. Um, but it's okay, though. So we're gonna get the rid, uh, rid of all the dirt in our inventory. And if you actually drop dirt in front of the guard, then you will um, be sent to solitary, because they'll see the dirt and think, oh, they just got that out from underground. And, um, yeah, they'll send you to solitary, so. I'm gonna make the bed dummy here, do an durability glitch, and head back down to our hole where we're gonna do some more digging. Just one more tile, and we should be good for this. Um, yeah, like I said, this is probably the most RNG dependent level of this whole run. Um, so, yeah, I got the hardest out of the way. So now it's evening roll call, and we can. We'll just keep the dirt in our inventory, why not? Because I don't want to drop it, like I said. I don't want to go to solitary, then everything gets reset. And uh, so yeah, we're just going to head back to our hole and wait for nighttime. Um, and so there's also a jeep um, up. Once we get out of this hole, there's going to be a jeep there. And it's running around the whole prison. Um, they don't really do anything at all. You may be like very scared of them, but nah, they don't do anything. Um, so yeah, I mean, they can even see me digging. And yeah, you just heard the jeep right there. They don't even see the hole. Um, we could place this. There we go. So uh, yeah, we're about to finish Champagne Show. Then we'll move on to Jungle Compound, um, which requires a lot less RNG. Really, the, RNG, the only RNG of that run is you need two items from desks. Um, but there aren't a lot. Of, there aren't a lot of desks, so yeah, 
might be like one or two resets on that one if we're not lucky. But yeah, like I said, they don't even care. What? You're kidding. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Wow. Okay, well, we're almost done with San Pancho anyway, so we're just gonna move on to Jungle Compound. Um, so yeah. Pretty weird. I Wow, that's the first time I've ever seen that happen. Every other time that I've done San Pancho, they've never caught me. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna search these desks, and uh, yeah. We need duct tape and a file, um, and we're gonna get the rest of the items that we need from other places in this level. Uh, there are little containers of timber and metal that we, uh, we use to our advantage to get timber and metal. Um, so yeah, we just need duct tape, no duct tape, reset. Um, so yeah, these first two prisons are probably the hardest out of the whole run. After this, um, we're gonna be doing, uh, Shankton State Pen, which is really easy. Um, so yeah, got the file, and now we need duct tape. We're most likely gonna get it on this run because we just got file on, like, the first desk. Um, so yeah. Um, and once we get the duct tape and file, we'll do some more really cool glitches. And wow, is there not gonna be duct tape? You're kidding me. Um, it's crazy. It's alright. Um, so if we just keep doing this once we get it, which we will definitely get on this try. Um, but yeah. Um, but I also have a backup for this one as well, so if we don't get it this time, I'm probably just going to use that to keep the, the run moving. Um, so yeah. Don't want to stay too long on a certain prison. Duct tape. Could have used that earlier, but okay. <laughs> um, another duct tape. No file. We're just going to use the backup. And yeah, there we go. So now we have both the items here. Again, nothing else has changed, it's thus just the items. So we're just gonna put these in the toilet and leave. Um, so down here we're gonna do another infinite durability glitch to the fork. We can get this. You have to hit the profile button and escape at the same time. Uh, yeah. Alright. Um, so now what we're going to do is get more intellect once again, back up to 80. Um, so yeah, um, right here is actually another glitch where we can shift the wall and get intellect at the same time. Because we need to get through these walls here. Um, so yeah, Pikastroff, if there's anything you want to say. Or... Oh, yeah, absolutely perfect uh, timing. I just wanted to remind everyone that in the fall for Follies uh, 2022 is raising money towards Caldwell children uh, who provide practical and emotional support for disabled children and their families across the United Kingdom. With your support, they provide services and equipment to children who need them, including powered wheelchairs, therapy tricycles, and car seats, as well as sports equipment for talented disabled athletes. They have also started their own brand new, first of its kind, uh, in-house autism service from Codwell International Children's Centre in Staffordshire, UK. And you can visit their website at www.codwellchildren.org to learn more about their amazing programs. So as you can uh, hear there, Codwell Children is an absolutely amazing cause to donate for. Um, and so you do know that any money donated to, during this marathon will be towards an amazing cause. Um, so, once again, I'm curious if we can reach uh, the next few incentives that we've got uh, coming up in the next few hours. And if you're curious to hear more about them, you can type incentives in the chat and you can um, see more about them. Very cool, very cool. Um, so right here, you may see that we didn't put that wall back because we need to go back and back and forth through that place. Um, and yeah, no guards come into the library room, so that's very useful. Um, only inmates during job period come in here, and they um, they aren't close enough to the wall 
to see that we have chipped it. And uh, so yeah, that's very, very useful for us. As you can see, guards do come in here though. Um, but we are only going to be in here for like a few seconds. Just getting some items. So yeah. I'm uh, gonna go up here, get shot, get the wall block out of my inventory. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna chip this wall until we get into the metal and timber room. And once we get in there, you'll see what I do next. Uh, so only 24% away. Um, yep. And after this, actually, we're gonna get some more intellect. Which shouldn't take too long because we already have like half of it that we need. So yeah, I'm just gonna get three timber and three metal. Leave it in here and uh, actually get my fatigue down this way. Um, so we have a lot of leeway with this prison um, because of how we escape it. We have to escape at night, and we have a bunch of it done um, like in the first half of the day. So there's like going to be waiting around for I'd say a minute or 30 seconds maybe, probably just a minute. Um, but yeah, we need 20 more intellect, should be, should be too long. If we miss uh, exercise period that's fine because it only gets our heat up to 70%. Um, as you go later into the game, your heat goes up more and more as you do uh, things that the guards don't like. So, you know, if you miss a period in Center Perks, the first prison of the game, it's not going to be that bad of a penalty. But, you know, something like HMP Iron Gate, the last prison of the game, it's going to be a big penalty. It's going to be like, I think, yeah, 99% here. Like in San Pancho. Um, I would actually say that HMP Iron Gate is one of the easiest prisons that we're going to be doing in this run. Um, and we're not going to be using the regular escape method, but you'll see that later. Um, so now we are almost done with intellect. Just got a few more. And I'll just do one more for good luck. Yep. Alright. There we go. Gonna get my fatigue down again. Just to keep it at zero. Gonna get the fork for all regular back so we can drop it. And we're going to hop over here to where we placed our duct tape and file. Um, we're going to be duplicating the duct tape uh, three times, or two times actually, so we can get three duct tape. And we're about to do another glitch right here where we can go through the contraband detectors pretty easily. So we're going to open our thing, take all the items that we want, and yeah, we're here. Uh, pretty cool glitch, um, very useful, let's just get past the contraband detector like I said. So right now we're just going to make our sturdy shovel, because we need one to do a much smaller tunnel than last time. And we don't really have to worry about rocks, because even if we get them, it's fine. We can just go past them, like I said, we have a lot of leeway with this. So we're going to head down here to the canteen, to the infinite durability glitch, to the shovel, and we'll start digging... Um, and yeah, it should be all good. Um, uh, so, um, in here, you're gonna also see another really interesting thing about this game. Is that cameras do not detect dug holes, um, or chipped walls. They only detect things when you are doing them. So, um, yeah, really cool. And also guards and prisoners do not come in here either, so... Very good place to dig our hole here. Uh, oops, me. Uh, just went up. Oh, there is 50% stone. It's fine though. Um, we have a bunch of time for this. It's nothing like San Pancho. Um, so yeah. You may be thinking, um, if you've ever played this game before, that we are supposed to be using a feather and a jar of ink to escape. Um, with some unsigned ID papers. Um, wow, another one. But uh, yeah, we don't actually do that in this run. We found a different way to do it, and it's way faster. For, well, I wouldn't actually say faster. It might actually be faster to not dig the hole. Um, but it is a lot less RNG needed for it. So that's why we do it. Um, 
see, yeah, right here, I'm just gonna get my fatigue down, gonna get the shovel back to normal, put our stuff in here, and get beat up. Um, I'm gonna use the fork here that I left, I'm gonna drop it, and uh, yeah, you can still do a lot of things when you're actually knocked out in that animation of your screen fading out. You can still drop items, um, you can even keep digging or chipping a wall. Um, so yeah, very uh, very cool. And so we're almost done with our digging here, and we just gotta wait for evening roll call afterwards. Um, so yeah, like I said, these stones aren't a big deal in this prison. This is gonna be the last tile we dig. And uh, don't worry, there's not gonna be any weird shenanigans with the jeep this time. Wow, okay, so that was 50% rocks all the way through. That's crazy. Never had that happen before. Um, but yeah, there's gonna be a jeep still, but he's way far away from where we're actually escaping. So, not very a uh, big deal for me. So we're gonna keep the shovel. Uh, we don't actually need a tube, tube as toothpaste anymore. We're gonna keep the shovel in here. Um, we're gonna get beat up one last time. Uh, we can actually just use this. And yeah, so we're just gonna be waiting until we can, uh, or we can dig up here, which is gonna be at nighttime. Not too far away, but while we wait, I have uh, decided to show off a few things. This is actually perfect that we have a knocked out enemy here. Um, I'm going to be taking him through here with me. So yep, it's like a hostage. Uh, <laughs> so we can actually turn off and on the generator from in here, which is really cool if you're holding something. You can actually turn on and off a generator. And um... So yeah, really, really cool. Um, so as you can see, the contraband detector is actually turned off now. Um, and so are the cameras and everything else. And uh, yeah, so um, another weird thing with this game is that this is um, where you're supposed to be with your kitchen job. Um, and this is the freezer. You put chicken from the freezer into the ovens. You serve it onto the food trays. But when you don't actually have the job, you can't get from you can't get any chicken from the freezer. Which is weird, because in some jobs that you, you can still get things from it if you don't have the job. It's weird. Um, and there, that was the generator coming back on. And now the shower block. Um, so we're just going to wait in there. Um, actually, I almost forgot about the bed dummy. That would have been terrible. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We're just waiting here. And, um, yeah, we're just waiting until evening roll call because um, then after that is nighttime then we can escape and move on to Shankton State Pen um, so yeah after the escapist one is gonna be a lot more fun for me at least I like the escapist two more than the escapist one when speed running it but when more casually playing it I like the escapist one more because probably just biased I've played this game for years and I only just started to play Escapist 2. Uh, so here we uh, are going to get our shovel and take it up to the digging area up here. And you'll see how we escape. It's very interesting. Um, so yeah, once evening roll call is over, we can dig up, get out of here, and start Shankton. So um, yeah. It's got like 10, actually 5 seconds, because every in-game minute um, is actually like more of a half second, I would say. Haven't timed it, but just feels like it. Um, so yeah, uh, we can just come up here, dodge the guards so they don't see us. That was the jeep, yep. Um, you can easily get run over by those jeeps. Um, if you're not careful. Actually, guards get run over by the jeeps all the time. And it's really funny when you see them just laying on the ground. Um, so yeah, we dig here, go through here, and then we escape. A very cool way of escaping. And uh, yeah, 
So that is jungle compound. If there is a stone, that would be the worst. There, wow, okay. That's crazy. Um, stone right at the end. Um, that's fine, because we can just get right through it. Boom, jungle compound is over. We can now do Shington State Pen. And this has a very interesting escape method as well. Um, it, once again, if you've ever played this game, it's not going to be anything like that. Um, or how you've played it. Um, because we're going to be doing a very special glitch that is only really usable in this level for the main prisons. Um, so yeah. What I'm looking for is duct tape and food. Pretty easy to get because there are so many desks in this prison. And um, yeah. So uh, we're uh, after we get the duct tape and food, we are going to go do the infinite durability, durability glitch to the fork. Word is so hard to say. Um, so there is food in there. Actually, there's food right there. Um, and yeah, we have a bit of time to get these items before we actually escape. Um, so yeah, just gotta wait for these guys to go away, and then we can start checking these desks as well. Um, so yeah, if we don't get duct tape in these, I'll just reset this one, because it won't take too long at all. Yep, there we go. Um, and it is very important there that I switch to bonus prisons and then main prisons, th those two buttons, that I click pretty quickly. Um, which actually just um, allows the warden note to not actually appear. Um, it is because some prisons in the bonus prison sections don't actually have any warden notes, so I guess it like swaps around some data and makes it so that these prisons don't have warden notes. It's um, really cool. And there was our food right there. So yeah, this is a good run. So we're gonna go um, get the fork. And actually, first we're gonna put these in this toilet because we don't wanna we don't want the contraband detector picking that up. And uh, yep, there we go. We're gonna wait in here until breakfast starts, so we don't get heat from not coming to breakfast. Because it is pretty annoying when you don't. And shot when you're trying to actually escape. Um, so we're going to get a inmate beat up here. Oh, he saw me. That is not good. But it is okay, because we can just run away. Then it doesn't matter anymore. I'm going to just get this guy again. And yeah, we're just going to keep him with me for a bit until... Um, Breakfast is over, so just juking him out right here, too easy, and we're gonna get him beat up right here, yep, there we go, if he actually goes down, yep, there we go, and we're gonna make this very quickly, yep, alright, good, so that's the hardest part of Shankton State Pen out of the way, all we got left is this, which is really easy, um, yeah, so what we're doing right here is actually chipping a wall, um, which is this. You're not supposed to chip it, which is what I was talking about with the warden note glitch. Um, so yeah, if you start chipping or cutting anything outside and you pick up uh, an inmate, then you don't actually get shot. And uh, yeah, it's very, very useful. We use it in like three prisons. Um, and yeah, so you can just get past this. And guards actually do not care, or snipers or guards don't actually care if this is gone, um, because the game doesn't recognize it as something that you can actually get through. So yeah, it's very cool. Um, we're almost done with this. We haven't, we haven't actually had any bad guard RNG in this prison, um, which means no guards have come down here, which is really nice. So we don't have to get out of the way of the guards. Because if a guard does see you with a, um, a taped up inmate, then uh, yeah, that's not good. You're going to try and untie him. So yeah, that is shaked in. Um, we're going to do center perks next. Um, 
This is going to be mostly exactly like Shankton, except we're going to be cutting a fence instead of chipping a wall to escape it. There is a bit more RNG in this one though, because when you cut a fence, there is a... Um, the, guard, the guard towers see it and they send you to solitary, right? But there's a small slit of time that is randomly generated where you can, um, where the fence that is cut or wall that is chipped doesn't actually get recognized by the guard towers. So, yeah, it's only for like a short bit of time in this one that we need them to not see it, but, um, they can still see it in those, um, like, I guess, I think that's like 10 frames. Um, but yeah, uh, this one may, like, be a little bit res of resets. Um, all we need is duct tape, yep, there we go, duct tape, and, um, and food, but if we get a file, it's even better, because it's faster. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna keep checking these desks for a file, if we don't, it's okay, because we'll just keep going with this run. Um, but yeah, it's just gonna be a little slower with the plastic knife instead of a file, which is twice as fast as a knife. Um, so, yep. Oh, there we go, we got a file. That's good. Um, so, once we come down here, we're gonna do the infinite durability glitch onto the file. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait for everyone to come into the, uh, canteen area um, because we're gonna actually do something a little uh, funny to uh, inmates um, so in this game there is a feature where you can befriend an inmate if they have a green enough name as you can see most of these guys have green names because we're in the first prison they're all nice um, so we can actually recruit one and you can tell them to go beat up a guard or whatever but it only works if you have like multiple multiple people. Um, if you only have one person, they're not gonna be able to beat up the guard by themselves. So um, that's why we recruit this guy, and we have him beat up this guard. And then he actually gets knocked out. We tape him up, we bring him over here, and we start um, cutting this fence. So since we have the file, it's gonna take a pretty short amount of time. And guards do come to this area, so it's going to be a little hectic with that. But other than that, it's basically a free run. Besides the little bit of RNG here. Alright, so that's a guard. Um, yep. Or I should say officer, because before their name is officer, like whatever. But everyone just calls them guards because, come on, they're guards. <laughs> Um, so this is 12%, 4% done, please. Alright, good. So they did not see the cut fence. Um, we're gonna go over to HMP Iron Gate. Do this one. This one takes a little bit of time, but it's still gonna be beaten during the day on day one. So, pretty short amount of time. You can take the duct tape, or the, not duct tape, uh, tube of toothpaste here. And we're going to check all these desks. Um, I'm gonna uh, ch uh, take another tip of toothpaste. Don't know why I got duct tape. Don't need duct tape. And what we're looking for is a wire and timber. There we go, got the timber. Um, there are a good amount of desks in this prison. So we usually always get the items on first try. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna look for the wire. Um. There it is. Alright. So, we're gonna actually just go ahead and do this. Whoa, whoa, okay. That was not a good idea. <laughs> um, so, guards automatically beat you up in this prison. Um, and that's not fun. Just why you gotta be very careful when going through that contraband detector. Because we actually do need to take that timber through the contraband detector into the room of, I guess, room of operations. We call it. Um, which is where we, um, you know, start doing whatever we need to do to escape. Um, and you may see here that we are doing another thing, kind of like the thing that we did in Jump Compound, except it's with intellect only, and not, uh, chipping a wall and getting it. 
just gonna get beat up here and get beat up again. We have like these taser things. Um, and you can't actually use them as an inmate. Um, I don't know why. I think in the game's lore it's like because they have a fingerprint sensor for only guards. But I don't know. Inmates just can't use them. If you like import one with cheat engine, which is the only way to get one in your inventory. Um, if you import one into your inventory using cheat engine, then you can have it in your inventory, but you can't actually equip it because of, you know, how it treats it. Um, so we're gonna wait here for the perfect time to take, actually, you know what, just in case, uh, we're gonna duplicate this because I don't want to take any chances here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be going, I'm just gonna go right now. Alright, good. <sighs> Alright, hardest part is this one. Um, <laughs> so now what we need to do is just chip a wall and we're basically out of here. Um, so we're just gonna get the fork, and yeah. So we're gonna come over here and chip this wall next to this orange key door. Um, it's faster just to get to orange key, but I don't really like the RNG with that method. It is faster though, a good bit faster. Um, and yeah, the guards can see you through this door, but only sometimes, like you see there, that guard doesn't actually see me chip the wall, it's random, and yep, he sees me. Um, and so yeah, we just do this over and over again until we actually finally have the wall gone. Um, so yeah, about 76% now. Um, so you may be wondering how we escape just from chipping this wall. It's, uh, it's actually pretty funny. You may have seen it. It's a pretty popular glitch. Um, and uh, it involves just walking on water, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, uh, it just makes it so that we don't need the boat to escape or the raft or whatever it is. Um, I've only escaped this prison like once or twice legitimately. Um, uh, because it's like, you know, it's hard. It's the last prison of the game. Um, so yeah, I usually just do this easier um, way of escaping when just casually playing the game. Um, so yeah, we're almost done with this. Um, 24% left. I will be here. I'm right. wondering, do oh, we yeah? have time for a quick message? Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you. Uh, I just wanted, uh, so earlier, uh, a bit earlier, I mentioned that we had some prizes. Uh, and so I wanted to bring your attention to a particular one, which is I think is relevant to the run we're having, uh, which is the Indie Fun Pack provided by this event sponsor, Team 17. And it's one of our sponsors. Uh, and specifically, this particular pack, which you can obtain with a minimum donation of $15, uh, includes a copy of The Escapist 2, and warms WMD. So, of course, with this run, uh, including the Escapist 2, uh, this is quite the theme. And so, if you're one you're interested potentially in uh, getting this prize and want to put your donation towards it, well, you might soon see uh, how that game will look like. Um, and of course, with that, you can also put your donation towards the incentive involving naming uh, the prisoner, uh, which also can you can still donate towards until the second escape this game starts. Uh, so definitely get your donations in, everyone, uh, and thank you all for your generosity. All right, thank you so much. Um, so as you just saw there, we walked on water um, in HMPR Gate. Um, so yeah, like I said, one of the easiest prisons in the game. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, for this one, it's actually going to be pretty boring. Uh, we're going to be waiting around a while. So uh, yeah, um, we need to cut a fence at night for this one. And uh, we need a red key as well. So actually, first off, we need to get this bed dummy so we don't lose our intellect. And we're gonna put it over here. All right, so what we need to do is um, get a yellow key, 
which is a really cool glitch. Uh, it's kind of like the infinite durability glitch, but it's like different, kind of. Oh, I messed it up. It is okay. Um, there we go. Get the yellow key. And yeah, this is a cell key. Um, you normally get this from beating up one of the guards. Um, and the yellow key is used in a very cool glitch where you can actually just take a guard's key and put the yellow key in place of theirs. Um, I don't know why it works. I guess the devs didn't think to make it key or to make it very specific to a certain guard. Okay, he's going over there. I don't want him going over there. Um, all right, so we're just gonna make him get beat up. Like I said, if you have multiple inmates with you, then you can beat up a guard. And there we go. Get the guard outfit as well. Make these guys go away. And yeah, so we basically have everything we need for the run already. Um, so we're just gonna go get the knife. And actually, no, we're not gonna get the knife. Because of the amount of time we have to spare in this run, or in this level, I'm going to be trying to see whatever is in a contraband stash down here. Um, contraband stashes can have, like, a lot of items in them. They can have shovels, cutters, pickaxes, keys, whatever. Um, but what we want from this is a cutter. If we don't get it, it's okay, because we just use the knife. But, uh, like I said, we have a lot of time for this one, so I'm just going to, you know, spend some time doing this. Um, so, yep, almost done with this, and then, um, don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of this, because I'm just gonna wait. Um, I might do some more interesting things while I wait around, because there are some more cool glitches to show off, I think. So right here, we're almost done tripping this wall, and we're about to get to this contraband stash, or prisoner stash, I guess. <laughs> There's like multiple different names for it. Um, so we're just gonna get our fatigue down by waiting in the shower. And, and that should be good. So we're gonna see what's in here. Um, gonna wait for that guy to go away. And we got a crafting note, not very useful. Um, it just adds a an extra crafting thing to our journal. Um, which we don't use at all, because we already have memorized every crafting recipe in the whole game, of course. <laughs> um, so now, or right now, we're gonna get the plastic knife. And yeah. Um, also, this is the last prison of the Escapist 1, so definitely get those donations in for the custom name. Um, Alright, so there's nothing in there. I'm gonna get my fatigue down. Oh, I, I did a favor? I guess I did a favor, okay. Um, I just kind of randomly accept favors because I don't want them to be mad at me. Because if you don't accept a favor from a from an inmate, um, inmates with the green uh, exclamation mark above their heads, um, like this, if you press no, that little thumbs down icon will go above their head and they'll get madder at you. Um, not mad enough to beat you up or anything, but still, I usually just say to uh, press yes on them, and I never do them, but um, I guess I did just do one. So uh, we need the food for the escape. I'm gonna just leave my items in there for tonight for the escape. And um, yeah, don't really have much of else, much else to do in here. Actually, I'm going to get some muscles work out um, which kind of passes the time I guess um, you can uh, you can eventually beat up a guard by yourself with no um, with no weapon if you do this enough um, and also there's another game in the escape series called the escape is the walking dead which involves a lot of this which is why I didn't choose to include it in this run because it takes like two hours alone just to get up all your strength and speed for each prison or location of that game. Uh, so yeah, that's why I didn't include it. Um, it takes way too long. Wow, this guy's taking a long time to beat me up. 
Um, I could I could have probably beaten him up by now. Yep. Uh, but it's okay. I'm just gonna wait for this. Uh, guards are more strong, so I'm just look for a guard to beat me up so I can get my fatigue down. Um, there's one. Officer William. He's running away. Alright, there we go. So yeah, much faster to get beat up by a guard than a inmate. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna keep, I guess, training here. Because um, we have nothing else to do for this run, for this prison. Um, this is gonna be one of the only prisons that we actually wait around in a lot, for mostly the whole day. Um, we do wait a bit in another prison, in the escapes too, but that's much later on. Uh, for, er, evening meal, here we go. Uh, I'm just gonna sit in here, eat our food. Another thing that's really cool is if you make your character look this way with a food tray in your hand, kinda looks like a gun, and boom, got all the guards down, now I can escape, now I'm just kidding. That's funny though. They should have probably changed the um the sprite for that. It's really really weird. Um let's see what's he what he has. Nothing important. Alright. Oh, got a trowel, that's nice. Um trowels are very important for a prison that is not gonna be in this run. Um, but I do run a lot because um well I'm actually currently grinding for the world record for that prison. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm just gonna keep doing this. We're almost to night time. Um, and yeah. So all we gotta do when we get to the place where we need to escape is just turn off the generator and then cut a fence. We should be good. Um, no real, no RNG in this run, basically at all. Um, so yeah. Um, I think the period right before evening meal, or evening evening uh, roll call, is shower block once again, like in jungle compound. So, um, yeah. I think it's at 21.00. Um, yeah, as you can see there, we have a lot more health than we did starting off, which is why it's taking them so long to beat me up. Um, but yeah, it's it's fine. Um, let's see how much strength we have. 55. That's good. I'm just gonna keep doing this until time passes. Um, let's see what this guy is selling. I don't have any money. I have 18. So that's not enough for like really anything. Um, so yeah, actually I think Sharp here is at 20. Or no, 21. <laughs> Um, let's see what this guy has. Nothing. So yeah, this takes um, a while. Usually for um, a 100% run of the Escapists 1, you would do this like um, first. You would do this prison first because of how much RNG it takes. It takes an insane amount of RNG to do the regular route for this. Um, which involves basically what we did in Center Perks, but with a bunch of RNG because of the ending of it. Um, you may remember whenever I cut the fence in Center Perks, I was hoping that I that the um, tower guards wouldn't spot it. In this, um, the fence that you cut to escape is a, a lot farther away from the um, escape barrier than it is in Center Perks, so it takes a lot of RNG for the tower guards not to see that as we walk from the cut fence to the escape border but we don't have to worry about that with this one because um, we're doing it a lot longer or at night um, so yeah I'm just gonna get all of our items for this and we should be good to escape for this prison then we'll start the escape is two um, so yeah. I'm just gonna go here what I'm gonna do is go down to the area that we need to escape, go down to here. The guards actually don't care if you go into this area, um, even though that you you should be restricted from this area because you're not regularly allowed to go here. Um, but yeah, they don't care. So you can just come in here and put on my guard outfit. Gonna get ready, make sure I have my knife, yep. And turn off the generator. 
whenever it turns in nighttime. Um, so yeah, a unique thing about this uh, prison is that there's an electric fence surrounding it. It's actually the second prison of the game, so it introduces you to this. It's actually really cool how the game um, builds you up towards harder and harder prisons. So this one has um, the electric fence, you'll be, and uh, you'll be seeing me here pause cutting for some of this. It uh, makes it so that we can actually cut while we have paused the game. It's really useful, um, so I think I'm just going to do it for the rest of this. The thing is, it, just, it doesn't let our energy drain, or fatigue drain, because we're paused. You can't really do anything about stats when you're paused. But yeah, it's really useful um, just to make it so that we don't have to go back and hit the generator again. So we're almost done with this fence, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're at 28%, so we're almost done. Um, might have to stop pause cutting here because of our fatigue. It's pretty high. Uh, yeah, it's really high. Um, it's actually going down pretty quickly, though. So we're just going to reset the generator there. Head back over here. We need to cut it um, once more after this. Gotta wait. Uh, gotta wait a little bit. Um, just one more, and then we escape. And we move on to the escapes too, which I like a lot more when speedrunning because it has a lot less RNG. So there we go. That is the escapes one. Um, exit out of this. Go into this. And what is the custom name, if there is any? Um, well, if I double check, uh, da, 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 it seems, um, I don't seem to be seeing any options. Right. That's fine. Uh, so that means you basically are able to choose your own. <laughs> yeah, alright. So, um, uh, in commemoration for Panda going away, I'm just gonna put Panda there. Alright, so starting uh, the tutorial here uh, precinct 17 so for these runs um, for the two game run you're actually required to do the tutorial as well so that's why we're doing this one um, so yeah um, I'm just gonna walk a bit and uh, we're gonna be doing all these prisons in order except for one of them and you'll be seeing why once we get to that, but that's much later. Um, so yeah. Um, so right here, we're just gonna go up here and head to this area where we wait for someone to be, um, we're gonna actually beat up someone in this tutorial. Um, so yeah, gotta wait for a bit. Um, yeah, so this tutorial here just has a lot of waiting and we're almost done with real call here so you can hear the beeps um here we go so this guy is about to be coming up here in a bit we have to lock on to him um with this whole new combat system in the escapist 2 if this works yeah there we go all right so we go in here go into this desk and there is a um what is there in here Oh, pickaxe, yeah, pickaxe. And so we come all the way over here, back to our de uh, our cell, and we chip a wall um, to get to this other desk. Oh wait, yeah, first we need to do this. That's right. And yeah, so we just chip this wall, and we run out of energy. Yep. So we need to go back up to lunch. It's already lunch for some reason. Not even breakfast, I guess they skipped it. Um, so yeah, since it's a tutorial level, they made it so that it goes all the way back up to 100 right when you sit down. So that's way faster than just, you know, a regular prison. Um, so here we are, done with that. We're gonna open up this and get these two things. Pick it up and drop it. Gonna use this, can use the cutters to get up to the vents. Um, yeah, this tutorial is much better than the Escapist 1 tutorial, because uh, it actually teaches you how to play the game. <laughs> um, 
so yeah. We're just gonna pick up the shovel here. All lockdown started. Um, I don't know how the lockdown started. Um, because this should not happen regularly in like a regular prison, but it just happens in the tutorial. Um, for no reason. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna be digging and almost escape from precinct 17. Here, if we look at this. And yeah, we're almost out. There we go. So that is precinct 17. The tutorial of T2, or the escapes 2. And um, yeah, we're gonna move on to Centerbricks 2.0. And yeah. So Centerbricks 2.0 is um there's a lot of different strategies for this. I'm gonna be doing a strategy that I made. Um and so yeah. Uh so what we need is three um three screwdrivers or one screwdriver and a um a hammer. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one we get. Um uh, well, it kind of does, I guess, speed. Um, yeah, but it doesn't really matter that much. So we're gonna let him leave. And how does he see me all the way from there? All right. Um, so we're gonna get screwdrivers. Okay, that's two in a row. That's pretty good. Um, but yeah, there's like next to no RNG for this game is two, except for like in two prisons maybe. Um, there is going to be one that is very reset heavy, and the escape is too. Um, but we should be good. And now we're just looking for this other screwdriver. And there we go. Alright, so that is all we need for the escape. We're going to come all the way down here and start chipping a wall to our freedom. Um, normally this wall is for the tutorial part of Center Park Superno. Yeah, there's this tutorial for this prison. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's faster just to do this than use the tutorial method. So right here, we're just going to be chipping this wall. And um, as you may see, that it, it takes a lot, uh, lot longer to chip one wall in this version, or in this game, than the Escape's one. Um, they basically nerfed everything <laughs> um, except for the combat system the combat system is a lot better and you can actually knock down a guard um, with some clever movement so yeah we're just gonna get our fatigue back down or energy back up I should say and start chipping this wall again so yeah pretty monotonous for this escape um, but after this, we're going to be doing a, a special type of prison. Um, I don't know what they're actually called. I'm pretty sure they're called, like, transport prisons, I think. But, um, I don't know. There's a special name for them. Um, but it's basically a prison where you're timed. Um, well, you have a set amount of time to complete it. Um, and usually that time is, like, a lot of time. But, um, yeah. There, those are special escapes. Well, there are special escapes for those prisons. Um, there's no like regular perimeter escape for those because you're moving. It's like uh, the ne the next prison's gonna be on the train, and um, so yeah, you know you can't really um, chip a wall just to get out. You know you have to do some special thing. Um, so yeah, we're almost done with this one. We need to get our energy back up once more will be done with Centerbricks 2.0. Um, the only prison in the game that has a reference to the Escapist 1, um, besides like the items I guess, but they all have new sprites and everything. And overall it looks a lot better than the Escapist 1. Um, so yeah, we're almost done with this. We'll move on to, I think it's uh, Cougar Creek Railroad or something. I don't know, I, I don't speed run this game much at all, um, but yeah, um, here we go, done with T, or done with C first 2.0, now we're heading on to the next prison, 
Here we go. Kill Creek Reload. I was right. Uh, so, this one is pretty cool because you actually ride a horse to get out. That one down there that you saw in that little cutscene. And yeah, for these, you're not allowed to get out of your cell. Um, but we just do it anyway so we can actually escape. <laughs> um, so you can go behind guards. Hey, you saw me. And oh. Okay. I guess. I guess we're good. If he would stop being here, you know. Alright, get out of here. How did he see me again? What? Well, there's no items in these two desks, so it's okay. Um, so we just wait in here until he's gone. And then we will be good. There we go. Oops. I accidentally paused. Um, so. Here for Officer Bonin. Move out of the way. Uh, so what we're looking for is a handkerchief, which we already got, and a orange and green crayon or marker, I think. Um, I think he's gonna come in here. I'll just beat him up. Why not? Um, actually, there was a weapon in there. Okay. There we go. Um, yeah, you can easily beat up a guard, but I didn't want to do it in there because it's a pretty small area. You need a little bit of room to do it. And this is why <laughs> these, these prisons are so annoying with the guards and everything. But uh, yeah, we have one of the three items. And it's actually guaranteed that you get all of the items in each of these transport prisons. Um, I think it's like coded so that you get the items. So there's no resets for these. Um, there we go, that's the main thing. There's batons in there. Is that to beat up a guard? Because um, batons are like one of the best items in the game for weapons and stuff. So I'm gonna just run back over here. And so what I'm doing here is I'm actually pausing while charging up a uh, super attack. That's what I like to call them. Um, because when you do a super attack, then you actually are running. You're going way faster than you um, were able to in the first place. So yeah, they're really useful. Okay, so um, we're going through the other half of this train to get the orange, orange pen. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wait here. I'm going to go back to my cell. See me. There we go. Hopefully it's in this desk so we can easily just escape right there. And oh it is. Great. Alright, so uh yeah, we can just craft this up and escape. It's a fake carrot, so yeah, we use a fake carrot to lure a horse and fake it. So now next is Rattlesnake Springs, a very easy prison. Um all you need is one item then you're out. Um, so yeah, uh, it's an iron bar. Um, I think it, I, it might be like an oversight from the developer because of how easy it is to escape this. But I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Um, so yeah, what we're looking for is an iron bar to chip a wall. And it is gonna be a lot faster than the other walls that we've chipped because we don't need to regain our energy or anything. So, uh, yeah, uh, and it usually does appear in these desks. It's pretty common um, if we were to actually get it. That would be nice. Uh, but, yeah, just looking through these desks. And um, also, yeah, you can't also do the uh, the Escapist 1 desk glitch anymore. I guess they fixed it because you have to use keyboard buttons to open desks and stuff. Um, so that's a good way of fixing it, I guess. Fun fact, in the alpha versions of the Escapist 1, that glitch wasn't actually present. So something went wrong when they were making it. Um, I think the ladder or the stairs are over here. Or no, they're down and then over there. Yep. There's a very specific wall I need to chip. And yeah. 
Alright, so we go up here, go down here, and there's a wall right to the outside of the prison where we can escape. Um, yeah, it's very, very cool. So yeah, we just ship this wall right here, and we're out. Um, so, it's gonna chip this, and we are almost out. There we go. And that is Cougar Creek Rare. Oh, wait, no, no that's. Yeah, Rattlesnake Springs. That's right. Um, so, I think next is Kapow Camp. Uh, yeah, so this is gonna be the one that is very reset heavy. Um, all we need is three items, but they're very rare. So, um, yeah, I get ready for a bit of those resets. Um, so, what you need to do in this prison is get a can of soda, pack of mints, and a screwdriver to, um, to escape. Uh, but you also need some money as well for, to buy an item that you need. If these, if this guy would stop, all right, there we go. So yeah, this guy or the camera always sees that um, uh, people get out of their beds and stand on their desks. It's because of the desks um, placement. Uh, so this is good. We can do that to get the money that we need. So yeah, we're just gonna be checking these desks. I already got the screwdriver. Um, I'm, I think I got it. I don't know. I think I placed it in my desk just to make sure I wouldn't get it again. If I didn't. Um, wasn't really paying attention. So yeah, can of soda and a pack of mints and we should be good. Uh, but like I said, those items are very rare. But it is the fastest way to escape, so we're doing it. Um, just gonna check these. And yeah, my desk is not gonna be searched. A really cool thing about this game is that it shows which desks are gonna be searched in the chat bar, um, which is for co-op games. Uh, but they just show which desks are gonna be, um, you know, uh, shook, shooken down, I guess you would say. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna see if we have the screwdriver. Yep, we already have the screwdriver. And so we need money for the makeshift uh, ladder, uh, which is a lot better than. Okay, there's the mints. Um, which is a lot better than trying to craft the makeshift ladder because that's just more RNG. And yeah, so don't want to deal with that, so we can just buy it. Um, so hopefully we get the soda, then we can escape. Um, oh wow, we did. Wow. Okay. Um, that's a first try Kapow Camp. Very good. Um, so we're just gonna keep those items in there. We're gonna go give this to the guy that needed it so we can get some more money. Wherever he is. It, so, it actually sees it, shows it on the map. Um, right here. Sam. We're gonna get the next item that he wants to have. So we're gonna run over. I hope that one up. Alright. So we come over here, go into this desk, get another item that he wants, and yeah, just keep repeating that until we get at least seventy dollars or seventy coins, I guess. I don't even know. The currency in these games are weird. Um, but yeah, we need to get the nunchuck from this desk over here. As you can see it um, on the map with those pawns, or I think that's what that is. Um, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it shows you where those items are, um, which is really useful um, and different from the Escapist 1, which wouldn't show you where they are. You would have to just find it. Um, sometimes they wouldn't even have it in those desks, so you would have to wait another day, but in the Escapist 2, it's way better. Alright, so we just got the makeshift ladder, which is what we need to escape, or a part of what we need to escape. So now we need 40 intellect. Um, so the bookshelves are over here, I think somewhere. 
Um, yeah, right here. Alright. So, we come into here, just doing select this, but it's actually different from the Escape to Swan. There's like a little mini game here um, that you play to get the intellect. And there's a special way that I'm grabbing this intellect, is because um, if you get out of the bookshelf right when you get intellect, it actually saves a bit of energy. So, yeah. Makes it so that we can get all this in one go. And we don't have to get our fatigue back down, or energy back up again. So yeah, all we need is 40 intellects. And we will be basically out of here. Let's get our fatigue, or our energy back up. Um, because we are going to be unscrewing some vents. Um, and we need, I think, max energy for that. <coughs> I'm not sure though. Maybe, maybe not. So we're just going to... Go get our items, craft things, and escape. Um, so, also another thing on the map that it shows is where your desk is. So that's really useful with all these huge prisons compared to this game's one. So there we go. And we use the makeshift ladder to get up to the vents. So we come down here. And put it right here, get our screwdriver ready, and go through the vents. Um, and you'll see over here that there is a motorcycle. So uh, yeah, we're going to be escaping using that. So we're going to oh, press it too many times. So we're going to be putting this back on, and we're going to be doing this. So yeah, once this grate is off, then we can escape. And there we go. So yeah, we use the soda and the pack of mints to um, I I think I think they're actually supposed to, uh, or no yeah I think they are mints. But yeah um, you know, make the bottle very fizzy. And it acts as a an engine I guess to the broken motorcycle there. So what we need for this transport prison is um, a few things. It can be, it's, it's actually really, um, um, depending on what you get. So I'm going to wait for this guy to go up here. And yeah, so you should go back. Come on. I'm gonna, yeah. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> I think he's coming in here. Yep, he is. Oh, you're going down. I was wondering if you had any time for a donation? Yeah, yeah. Awesome, thank you very much. We've got $26 from Code Gorilla uh, without a comment, uh, but those uh, that donation went towards two incentives. The first one went towards the face, uh, the Mighty Number no. 9 incentive of the boss rush, which means it is now completed uh, with those first uh, $25. So thank you so much for completing uh, this first incentive called Gorilla. Uh, and with uh, their last dollar, making it all 26, uh, they, that went towards the fair color incentive uh, for the level head run uh, with the color option of Fuchsia. Uh, so thank you very, very much uh, for donations. Uh, uh, towards uh, this event, it's really appreciated. And as a last, uh, as another reminder, we still have a few incentives coming up in the next few hours. Notably, we've got Save versus Skill, the Nailsmith for Hollow Knight, which is bound to be a really interesting bit war. And of course, we've got the bonus game Supermarket Shriek, uh, which will be later this evening if it does get met, which is going to be sitting at forty-four dollars out of one hundred and fifty. So it looks like we might still be a bit further away from it, but we can definitely reach it. Uh, so thank you for your donations again, and uh, let's keep it going. Very cool. Alright, so uh, we got the bolts, and um, that is kind of optional in a way. So what we need for this prison is actually um, either duct tape bolts and a wire, or a wire, or not, not wire, tubing. 
um, ore tubing and a, a breathing tank thing. And so we're just going to go through here and see if we can get the items. If we don't, it's a reset. Um, but that's fine. Uh, we usually get the items. There we go. Got that. So if we get tubing, we're good. Wow, he saw me. How? I could probably beat him up, but actually, nah. With my energy level right now, probably couldn't. Um, Alright. So we only have a few more desks that we can check. If we can get the tubing, then we will be good. Um, or duct tape. Oh, there's duct tape. Um, so, just wait. I think that guy, will, that guy will see me if I get out, so I'm just going to wait right here, if he'll ever move out of the way. Oh, wow, okay, that's great. Um, yeah, I'm not going to try and beat him up, I don't have enough energy. Alright, now we're good. We can finally check this desk and see if it has tubing. If it does, we're good. Um, yes, it does, okay. So we are ready to escape here, um, tubing, and I think it's, no, it's then bolts and then duct tape. Alright, there we go. Um, so we use the jet ski to escape there. And next is a pretty easy escape, HMP offshore. Um, for this one, you, um, if you've ever played this game before, you may be thinking, Oh, he's gonna do the dolphin, the dolphin thing. Um, but no, no, I'm not. I'm uh, actually using a helicopter, which is a way faster and easier method of escaping. So we're just gonna leave our items here. Um, all we need is a red key, and then we're out. Um, but it does require a few items first. So yeah, just gonna check these, <sighs> check these desks. <clears throat> Wait for this guy to move out of the way. And we're gonna check this. Um, okay, so there's a toothbrush. That is what we need. One of the items that we need. So now we need a lighter cup and, or actually we don't need that. We need a lighter cup and chocolate and toothpaste. Lighter cup, chocolate, toothpaste, all right. Um, so yeah, we use a molten cup of hot chocolate to knock out a guard. Take his key, make a mold of it, and make the plastic key. So, alright, so that's good. Got a few of the items here. So now we need chocolate and toothpaste, which is which we're definitely gonna get because we still have a lot of more desks that we can check. So, toothpaste and chocolate. Here we go. Um, nothing in there. There's the chocolate, so now we can make the cup of molten hot chocolate, but um, we also need the toothpaste, so that is required to get the key mold. Um, if I can find it, I hope it gives me it so I don't have to reset this one. Alright, now we just gotta hope that it's in... Okay, he's. why is he doing this right now? Come on. Do this any other time. Alright, so, toothpaste, nope, a toothpaste, fine, we'll reset. It's alright though, because we are, we are good on our time. Because we only have like, three more prisons after this, which are pretty easy. So, uh, yeah. Um, hopefully we get the items this time. Comb, that's good. Let me check what level I'm at. Alright. Um, so we need everything except for a comb or a toothbrush. It's either a toothbrush or comb that you can have for uh, for to craft the molten plastic. So we're gonna get our two lighters in there. Hopefully we'll get everything this time around. Chocolates. And there we go, there's the toothpaste. 
Um, so now we need talcum powder and a cup, and then we'll all be good for this escape. Um, let's see if we have anything in this desk, and then we'll head up to roll call. There's a cup. I need to get it. I always miss clicking this game. All right. So we're gonna leave this cup over here. <coughs> And then we're gonna head to roll call. And now we need talcum powder. And hopefully it's in these desks. I usually get talcum powder, so we should be good. Um, and then we just gotta get a lot of intellect. And then we get the key and we escape. All right. Um, so talcum powder, there we go come up here and we'll just store it in our room Let's see if we have any contraband in here yeah we do all right I just want to hide that so we don't get in trouble for it so I'm gonna go ahead and get all this intellect and get the key um, it's gonna be pretty easy for this we need 60 intellect um, more than 40 from last time but uh yeah so what? all right so um yeah still less than 80 from the escapists one. um they brought down the amount of intellect you need for things a lot so make it a little easier overall this game is a lot easier than the escapist one if you are wanting to speedrun anything i would recommend this game um there aren't any major glitches we only know like two glitches actually um and uh yeah it's actually really easy to do this um so if you want to speed run a game i would recommend this one uh, it's really cool and so we're almost halfway done with our intellect grabbing here I'm still doing that intellect canceling thing with the energy and yeah we only need 13 left so I'm gonna get it. And um, for this prison, we escaped from helicopter, if I haven't said that already. Um, it's really cool. I never knew about the escape um, for this prison until when I started actually speedrunning this game. Um, which is actually pretty recently. Um, I speedrun the escape as one a lot more. Um, but yeah, I didn't know about the helicopter escape and how easy it was. Um, so yeah, we're almost done here. Just gotta get one more. And in this game, the intellect or other stats don't actually decrease over time. So we don't have to worry about that. It's really cool. And yeah, we're just gonna go get our fatigue back, or our energy back up. Um, so just come over here to the showers and we wait for our energy to go back up um so yeah after this we're gonna be looking for a certain um guard to get a key um i think i named him red key and i had him have a alien face on i think a red alien face because you can customize the um, the appearance of the guards a lot more than you can in the escapist one in this game. So there we go. We'll leave that in there. And we'll look for the guard on the map. Um, he's usually... Yep, there he is. Right there. Alright. So I think I just gotta go down. One. And he's in here. Yeah, let me just check for this other guard. He might be a problem, but whatever. We're just gonna go for it. He is gone. Do not know where he went. But it's okay. There we go. Alright. So, that's the hardest part of this prison done. I'm just gonna get a shot here. Um, and yeah, it's not actually an instant kill for the snipers in this game. Which is really useful for other prisons where you are probably going to get shot when moving from place to place. Um, I think it's actually in the next prison, 
maybe. I think the next one is Fort Tundra. Um, one of the hardest prisons in this game. But actually pretty easy when you're speedrunning it and when you know what you're doing. Um, so uh, yeah, there is a daytime strategy for that prison, but I don't use it because of how hard it is. You have to maintain your energy and health and all of that stuff. And um, yeah, pretty chaotic. I may learn it in the future, but for now, I'm just going to stick with the easier route. But uh, yeah, we need to make this key, and then we are escaping. So, get the items, make the key, on the guard's outfit, and walk over to the place where we need to be. Um, and your heat actually doesn't go up when you're wearing a guard's outfit, when you're outside where the snipers can see you. Um, which is an improvement from the Escapist 1. So yeah, we're just gonna run all the way over here where we escape. Um, actually, it's over here, not there. Um, so yeah. Um, it, the helicopter is right above this, uh, these stairs, and we're done. With, with this one. Um, so yeah, we got like a few more prisons and we are done with the run. Um, Fort Tundra, here we go. Uh, yep, I have been named. Because you also need a red key for this one. Um, this is definitely a prison where you need the most items, but there's like a large amount of desks to the point where it doesn't really matter. Um, RNG is not really a big factor in this one, so we're going to keep this stuff here. We're going to just stash this stuff in this guy's desk. Alright, there we go. And so we're just going to look through these desks here. Um, we already got talcum powder, so we don't need that again. Um, roll call, we'll go to later. So there are, I think, four, four places to get the, um, the desks and your items. Okay, he saw me get that. That is not good. I'm gonna get beat up here already, but it's okay. There we go. Um, actually, that might not be so good because of roll call. If we miss roll call, that is really bad. Um, yeah, it looks like we're going to be missing it, so there's a lockdown. Then it's going to be, I think, um, solitary. Yeah. All right, so I'll just reset because of the lockdown. Um, it's faster just to reset. Um, here we go. And yeah, so this run, or this prison, is going to have a bit of waiting in it as well. Um, not as much, I don't think, as Stalag from The Escapes 1, but it's a little bit of waiting. So actually, keep those items. Alright. So, yep, boom. I'm going to wait for that guy to wake up so he doesn't see me do it. And so for this prison, we need a sturdy shovel and a red key. Um, so yeah, it takes a lot of items for that. Um, we already got timber, so we're good. And so, okay. Um, we're going to actually head to roll call this time. <laughs> um, I thought I had a lot more time than I did before um, lockdown. There we go, made it to roll call, we're all good. We're gonna keep searching these desks because there are a lot of them. And that is really good for this prison. Um, already got the cup. And yep, already got the cup. So in lighter. And some more contraband items. Um, see if they're gonna check my desk. Nope. Alright, that is good. So we're just gonna put our items over here. And we need foil. Oh yeah, we also need a conjuring patch. 
Um, we need foil, three more duct tape, and I think two more sheets of metal. So, a good bit left, but should be fine. Um, so yeah, we just got these desks to search, and hopefully we'll get a lot more items. Yep, there we go. Um, so this prison is probably one of the hardest prisons casually um, in the Escapist 2. It was originally supposed to end like this. Um, the game was supposed to end like this, but then they added like some more levels, which is fine, but I feel like they should have ended with this because it's very hard. Um, there we go, got toothpaste. Um, I don't even know which items that I need to get or not that, until I go back up to my room. And that's a lot. Um, I'm gonna come back to this desk because that actually has the rest of the um, things that I need for the shovel. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna drop off our items here, go back to that desk and search more for foil, and I think a few more items for the key. Um, yep, there we go. So we need talcum powder. Alright, that's all we need for the key. And let me see how much metal I have. I have two, alright. So now we need foil and metal. And um, talcum powder, alright. Foil, metal, talcum powder. Get one over here. And yeah, if we miss a period in this game, it's fine, because like, um, it's a lot more lenient in this game. For all the heat things and stuff like that. So we got the metal, so we got the shovel done. Um, so we just need two more items, foil and talcum powder. Then we'll actually start um, doing things. Hopefully he won't see me this time. Get items, all right. Um, talcum powder, it's just one, it's the last thing we need, there we go, got it all. So now we can actually start with doing things in this prison. Um, so we need to beat up a guard, get his key, and um, get the intellect, and that's it for this prison. And then we have like... I think three more actually after this because we got area 15 or no area 17 and then we got um uss anomaly and then another one which is a transport prison so uh yeah right now we're gonna get the intellect and we need i think 60 um so we can get that like we got it in the last one, HMP off offshore, I think. Um, so yeah. If there is anything you need to say, Pika Pika Straw, then now would be a good time. Of course, that would be uh, amazing. Thank you. Um, to anyone who might have just joined in very recently, well, I would want to say welcome to the stream. Uh, you are watching Indie Fun Fall Follies. Uh, which is supporting Coggle Children, which is an amazing charity uh, in support of children uh, in the UK and internationally. Uh, so in terms of what they do, uh, they provide services and equipment to children who need them, including powered wheelchairs, therapy tricycles, car seats, sports and as well as sports equipment for tattered disabled athletes and much, much more. Uh, you can learn more about them if you visit their website at www.codworldchildren.org. Uh, um, and I see that we're currently sitting at $165 in wow. total so far raised uh, for them. So that's really great. And I'm thinking, um, can we reach 200 before the end of this run? We've only just got a handful of prisons left. Uh, so time is starting to close in. But I think it's possible. Um, and if you want to make a donation towards an amazing cause and also make this marathon even more fun, uh, remember that, that we do have some incentives coming up, uh, including the save versus kill the nailsmith uh, uh, bid war for Hollow Knight. 
as well as the supermarket trick bonus game um, for which will be a bit later this evening. So there's a lot you can get out of a donation, uh, with, uh, including you know uh, raising money for an amazing cause and a lot of fun. If you want to check more details about uh, the incentives, uh, you can check them. I will put it in the chat right now. Uh, exclamation mark incentives. So you can check everything out. Thank you, everyone, and let's keep it going. All right, thanks. Um, so right now we have all the intellect, and we are going to beat up the guard right there. Um, we're actually going to wait for him to go into a, a, a separate room so we can get him without being outside. Because we... If we knock him down, then we get 99% heat immediately, um, no matter what. So, uh, yeah, that's why I choose to do it inside of a building, so we don't get shot by the snipers. Alright, so we're just gonna actually craft everything here that we can. Um, there we go. This stuff and this. Alright, so I'm going to get our bed dummy tonight. There we go. In there. The guards actually don't care if it's in there um, during the day, they don't remove it or anything, it's just in there. Um, Alright, so we made the contraband pouch because of this specific section of the run. Um, I should probably head to shower time. There we go. Alright. Um, so we are going to be waiting for that specific guard to come into a specific building. Um, he might already be in here. Unless if he's patrolling some hallways. Sometimes he does. So I'm just gonna wait right here. See if he's up here. Nope. Alright. Um, might be on the second floor. Nope. Alright, well. He's somewhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, there, this one's also very lenient with the uh, amount of time that we have for this, so it's okay. Uh, there is the red key. Alright. I'm just gonna wait for him to come over here. Um, he might actually come into the hallways right here, which would be very nice. Where did he go? What? He, like, disappeared or something. Huh. It's crazy. Alright, well, um, yeah, there he is. Alright. Oh, he's right here. Alright, easy. Um, so I guess we didn't even need the contraband patch after all. Well, that is okay. So yeah, we're gonna be running over to our, um, desk so we can put this in there. And then we will get beat up by a guard, or get shot, or whatever. And then we just wait, um, until nighttime, which seems like it'll take uh, five minutes. Um, so I'm just gonna get beat up right now. Yep. There we go. And um, so how we are going to be doing this run is we're gonna be going to a very specific um, red door and then digging in a place where there isn't any electrical fence. Um, also, I will be saving before I escape because of rocks underground. With this version, when there are rocks underground, you can't actually go through them. So that's very annoying, which is why I save before escaping some of these prisons. Um, so yes, after this, we are going to be skipping Area 15 for now, or Area 17. Um, because I'm going to be utilizing a very, very cool glitch at the end of the run for that one. I'll be switching around a um, some game some game files so we can have a special version of the game installed. And then we can um, 
do a very special glitch and it'll be very very cool to watch um i could have actually performed the glitch on any of these prisons but i decided to do it with that one because that is the hardest with um rng um so right now i'm probably just gonna knock a, knock up some guards for fun not. Let's see if I can beat him up. Probably not, because he's been blocking a lot of my... Uh, yeah, no, I have no more energy. That's fine. Um. So... We have like three minutes until we have to escape this one now. Um, as you can see, this timer right here is actually... Um, every in-game minute is one second. Um, no half second or whatever. Um, so, you know, that's nice. That it's actually something that you know how long something's gonna take. Um, so yeah. Actually, yeah, still three minutes, alright. Um, just gonna get my health up, just in case if anything happens. We're gonna head down to dinner time. I think after this is... I don't even know what period is after this. Um, but we're just gonna... Sitting here, look at what people are selling. Um, these guys are fighting. I wonder what they're going to have. There we go. Yep, and he's not going to get up as well. Um, so, a cool thing about this game compared to the Escapist 1 is that other inmates actually go to the infirmary, um, not just you. Because, like, in the Escapist 1, you get uh, you black out and then you go to the uh, infirmary. But in this game, you actually see other people going into the infirmary. And you actually see how you are brought into the infirmary. Um, so that's really cool. I'm gonna head to my job time. So it's actually pretty funny what they say there. Um, so yeah, I think it's like you get 15 coins from doing this. It's just sitting in here and waiting. Um, yeah, as you can see, this guy talking. Um, how much money do we get, actually? I want to check that. Um, ten. Let me get ten. Alright. That's fine. Um, you also may notice these stars right here. It's kind of, um, so like, the more stars you get, the more in trouble you are, I guess. And once there's five stars, it's lockdown mode, and then it resets. Um. And so, the reason those stars are there is because I haven't been going to most of the periods. And, uh, yeah, that's what happens. So I'm gonna get my items, because in a minute we are going to be escaping, and I don't want to be locked inside of my cell if I don't get the items. Just grab them all right here, grab the key. And I don't even know if we need the contraband pouch for this escape, but we're gonna have it anyways, just in case. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna be waiting 30 seconds right here, and uh, yeah, we have all of our energy up, and I'll show you guys where I'm going to escape on the map. We're gonna be going through, actually yeah, we're gonna be going through the contraband detectors, going through here, and going all the way down here, and then we're digging under there to escape. Um, so yeah, like I said, one of the hardest prisons casually, because of how weird it is. Um, yeah, there's a daytime escape with... Oh, wow, okay. It's not even at 22. Hmm. Alright. Um, that's fine. So, whenever it does turn nighttime, we'll be escaping. Which is, I would assume, in two minutes. Because there's going to be evening roll call... Then it'll turn nighttime. Um, so yeah, the prisons after this are gonna be pretty short. Um, this will be the last like full level or prison that we do. Um, so yeah. Um, almost done with waiting around here. And, uh, Pika's drop. What is my time right now? I don't have Twitch pulled up. Um, it looks like you're at 1 hour 53 minutes and 40 seconds. Just oh, wow. about. That's Not really good. 
I may have overestimated how much uh, how much time I would have taken. Um, all right, so we're just gonna go through here with our contraband pouch, and we made it to roll call. Our bed dummy's in the bed. All right, we're all good. So I'm gonna put on my uh, guard's outfit and wait until lights out. Um, because there's gonna be a little bar after roll call is done, and once it goes all the way down, it's lights out and we are good. So, 20 seconds, then we can get out. Um, the reason I'm not going through this door right now is that I don't know if once I go through there, I'm not supposed to be through there, and like, they'll get mad at me or whatever. Um, so now we're gonna go through see this return to cell bar once it goes all the way down we'll finally be digging out of this place and um, hopefully not be getting any wa rocks um, if so we'll just move on because we basically got through it um, so yeah I usually never get any rocks in this game I think I've only gotten it once um, so yeah we're probably good so I think this is the multiplayer escape up here with this jeep. Um, yeah, with the door that you need two people to open it with. So we're almost done with this return to cell bar. Once it is over, we are good. All right. So now we can start digging away. Um, and we have just enough um, energy and percentage on the shovel to dig all the way through this. Um, normally I would be using a sturdy pickaxe from a favor, but I'm usually not that good at that favor. It's like you have to beat up multiple guards, um, and then the, uh, the favor it may, gives you um, a sturdy pickaxe, which is really cool. Um, give new items instead of just money for doing favors. Right here we almost done with Port Tundra and then we got a few easy prisons ahead of us and the run is done. Um, so yeah I'd say 20 more minutes. Um, I don't know. However long it takes. Um, but we are ahead of what I estimated because of how lucky I got in this game. So right there I skipped area 17 and we are just going to be doing this prison and then the next one. This one's a lot easier than the other transport prisons because it's um, pretty easily laid out uh, for what you need and everything. So I need multiple ropes and let me make a parachute I think. Let me just check this real quick. Um, I guess it doesn't say by this. Um, we need to make a parachute. We're gonna fly out of this plane. I don't think I need the duct tape, but just in case. There we go. That's another length of rope. We need three lengths of ropes. Like three length of ropes? No, because that's, yeah. Okay, I guess three lengths of rope. Um, but yeah. Uh, gonna be going up here and for a co-op uh, version of this prison you would be beating up every guard in this area and then you could just take over the control panel and you would just you know fly the plane to safety I guess um, so that guy's going up here hopefully we get it in this desk nope. all right just keep going check the medic desk if this guy would get off of here um, sometimes people go on top of desks and then you cannot open them which is really annoying um, <laughs> so if nothing in there hopefully he doesn't come in here if he does then I'm gonna beat him up okay he's good all right gonna wait for him to leave he stopped probably gonna head back yep Alright, so, actually he might be going in here, nope, alright, always worried about those guards, okay, that's another one, well we're just gonna be 
Eating him up. Okay, he is strong. Wow. Um. Alright, I'm gonna be getting out of his way because he is not very nice. Um. If we are far away from him, far enough away from him, he'll stop chasing us, but that's probably not gonna happen. So I'm just gonna go through this locker. And we should be good to check these desks here. Hopefully, there's some rope. Um, no. It's fine though, because like I said, the desks have uh, these desks have to have the items in them. It's like coded or something. I don't know. Escape is too is weird. So we're gonna go back down here. Okay. This guy saw me. I don't have any energy to fight him. So I'm just gonna head in here. Yeah, all we need is one more item, but it's not giving me this item. Um but yeah, after this, we will actually be coming up on one of the harder prisons, but it is pretty short, so, yeah. We'll go up here, actually, we're gonna be going down here, I think, right? Yeah, 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 alright. The layout of this prison is so weird. So there's like two more desks that I can check here. I guess if it's not this one, then it's a reset, but I doubt that because I think they have to have it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so that is it for this. Uh, yeah, we did not need the duct tape. I don't know what I was thinking. So, it's down here, and we just fly out of the plane. It doesn't matter if guards see us, because we're about to escape. So, there we go. Alright, so that is that one done. Alright, so we just got this one last to do, oh and then another one. Um, we should have more than enough time to get through these next two prisons. Um, Alright, what do we need for this? We need, uh, we need this, alright, so that's good. Um, I'm just gonna keep all that. We need talcum powder, a comb or toothbrush, and foil. Um, because we're going to be beating up a guard without a cup of hot chocolate. These cameras are super annoying. Um, oh, that is actually something we need. This guy has to go away, please. Okay, he is not going away. I'm just gonna take it. This is not my room. Wow. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, there we go. Alright, so that's good. Um, yeah, very annoying with these um, cameras and the cells and stuff. So hopefully we get a medic soon and then we don't miss roll call. It'll be close. Yep, there we go. Alright, so we're good with that. Then we're gonna check some more desks for some more items. And we should be good. We already have the hard items out of the way. Which are the contraband items. Um, so we get out of here. I'm gonna check this desk. And hopefully there's something in here. No, actually, yes, talcum powder. Alright. Um, now all we need is um, a piece of plastic, which would be a comb or toothbrush, um, which is basically guaranteed, I would say. Um, so yeah, we have a lot more desks to check to be able to get this um, in there. lot of heat so we'll I'll just get knocked out right here and yeah we'll get sent back 
to the infirmary. We're gonna get our uh, energy and health back up. We'll get the intellect, get our energy back up again, then we'll back up the guard and go from there. All right, so I don't know why they don't take me to this closer infirmary. It's so annoying. Um, uh, I've almost never been brought to that infirmary. It's like every time it's this one. And see, uh, you see the medic going back to wherever it's going. I don't understand the medic RNG, or not RNG, AI. So yeah, we're just getting our health back up, and then we will get our intellect, and it's basically, well no, we still have to beat up the guard, which is pretty hard to do. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go here, and get the intellect. Um, we need 60 once again. So, uh, Pikastroph, if you want to say anything before this is over. Absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, uh, as we're reaching the tail end of Escapist 2, I would like to remind everyone that one of the available prizes we've got during IndieFun is um, provided by Team17. It's the IndieFun pack, uh, which contains both the Escapist 2 and Worms WMD which you can get for a potential minimum donation of $15. Um, so, you know, if you've been enjoying uh, this run, uh, maybe you can donate towards uh, that prize. And uh, not only would you get give your money towards an amazing cause, but you might potentially win this game, plus Worms, uh, which, as you can see here, has proven to be a really great run. Um, and of course, you can check the tracker for even more of the prizes we've got, which include, for instance, the Cute Friends Pack, the Speedrun Starter Pack, Pixel Swords Pack, and Couch co -op Pack, and more. All provided by Team17, which are sponsoring this event, so thank you to them for that. Um, but yeah, uh, let's keep it going and run. Thank you for everything. Alright, thank you. Um, so yeah, almost done with the intellect. And after this, we'll be getting our energy back up, getting up a guard, and making the key. Um, once we make the key, it's basically a free run. Um, so we'll go back up here, get my energy up with the showers, and we'll be doing one of the hardest parts of this whole run, which is beating up a guard. <laughs> um, these guards are pretty hard to beat up. They're like a lot stronger, I think, from the other guards. But we should be able to do it. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go back down to my desk, get the items for the key, and we will knock out the guard, wherever he is. I don't even know where he is. Um, all right. I might as well use this crowbar to beat him up. It's pretty effective. Um, looking for this guard. They're not in completely random places. They have um, a set track on like what they uh, where they walk and stuff. Um, usually they're in this area. So gonna look around here. Um, but yeah, they should be here somewhere. I would think. Where is he? It's so weird. Hmm. Where is this guy? I know I named him. Yeah, there he is. Okay. Getting a little worried there. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna just keep going. Wherever he went. I think he's... Yeah, he's over there. Alright. Um, yeah, so we're almost done with this... This prison. Um, but yeah, we need a good area to beat up this guy. With no other guards. 
Um, so yeah. Okay, he saw that. That's not good. Yeah, I just got knocked out. That is okay though, because there is a pet right here. I don't know where the red guard, red guard went. He's right there. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, the important part is the water putty. We didn't need the crowbar. That's fine. So I'm going to get my health back up, and I'm going to beat up this guard right here, because he already has most of his health down. Um, wherever. Okay, so this guy right here. If I can get him out of here. <sighs> um, so if this guy moves out of this room, I can actually just beat him up right here. Yep, there we go. Alright, there we go. Finally. Um, now we have to be very careful getting back. Um, okay. Uh, that's fine. So we can just. Oh! Alright. went into a menu there. Gonna be running. Yes. There we go. Alright, so now the run is basically free. We just gotta get our items and walk out of here. Um, so we'll be using the jetpack escape. Um, so there's this switch in a control room where it switches gravity. And since I would be the only one with a jetpack, um, I guess that means that I can uh, be regular while everyone else is upside down and stuff. Um, so there's roll call, I'm gonna have to make it pretty quick, and then after this, I escape this, I will be switching my game files for like, I would say a minute, um, and then we will very quickly escape area 15, or area 17, I always say area 15. Alright, so we made it here, and... Take all the items, craft this, put on the guard's outfit, and head out. So, and here is a, um, a desk with the um, jetpack in it, right here. It's always in that desk. Um, and so we're just gonna head all the way back over here with our items and escape. Um, so this will be the second to last prison we do. Um, so yeah. Just gonna head up here. And since we have the contraband pouch, we don't have to worry about these guys. And there we go, that is that one. Done. Alright, so right now I'm going to get out of the Escapist 2 for a second, and then we will be getting the game files in. Shouldn't take too long. Um, here we go. Escape us to. And um, there we go. Boom. So it's going to take about, say, 20 seconds for it to copy over. And then we will be good for this. Um, cause after this, the escape for area 17 will be very quick. Um, I would say about, I don't know, a minute for that escape. It's pretty very, it's very fast. Um, so the reason I have to, um, change the game version here is because I have to do a very, very cool glitch. Um, uh, so yeah, gonna open this back up and get the game started again um, so yeah area 17 used to be very hard for me because of the way I used to to escape it and stuff but now uh, with this new glitch it's gonna be a lot easier um, so yeah just gonna take a little bit to load up here and so we're in a different version. Area 17, let's start it. 
And um, yeah, coming up on the last prism right here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to roll call, then I'm going to perform the glitch because it may take a little bit to do. Alright, um, that's actually perfect that we're in this area. So I'm going to try and do it before I actually go to roll call actually. So This glitch um, is me trying to go on top of my desk and going into the toilet at the same time. Um, it's really cool. If I can get the hang of it here. It's very tedious to do. Um, but not that bad. Alright, so I'm gonna head to roll call just in case if we miss it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head up back to my desk. And why, why are you in here? <laughs> they just stand around. Alright, come on. Let's go. Get out. Why are you still in here? There's nothing in here. Whatever, I'm just gonna keep doing it. Because they get mad at you for going on the top of your desk. So. Yeah. A very tough glitch to do. I'm just trying to do it at the same time. Um, usually really good with this. If I can just do it real quick. So, you actually have to do it twice. Um, so, so, for it to work. There we go, you got it once. So now you can see I'm kind of clipping through the wall here. Um, so we just gotta get it another time. And some of the well, some of the textures are uh, not very well uh, how it's supposed to be here. So just do it one more time, come on. Because they actually um, patched this glitch in the newer version, which is like very rare. Because <laughs> you wouldn't expect them to patch any glitches after seeing the escape is one. Um, Alright, so if I can get this here. There we go. Alright. Um, so what we're going to do here, um, don't hit time yet because there's so something that we need to do. I'm going to quit out of this. And then I'm going to press continue. And then we are going to do time. So pressing continue here makes it so that we're back inbounds and so we can actually escape. Um, so time is in three, two, one, boom. All right. That was the escapist one and the escapist two. Um, very fun. And uh, yeah, I had a great time. Thanks, thanks to all the staff for having me here. And uh, yeah. Well, thank you so much uh, for your showcase uh, of, of this run. It's rare, f like, it's it's been a while since I've seen a, a, a run with, like, two games in it like that. Do you have um, any particular shout-outs you'd like to make? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely to, like, all of the all the people over at the Escape of Speedrun community, especially, um, I'm sure a couple of them are watching right now. I think Grayus is one of them, Cox DC, Jay Headley. All those guys. All right, indeed. Thank you so much uh, for everything, and as well, indeed, to uh, to those shoutouts. Uh, with that said, um, it's, it's it's surprising how, how fast you were. You were so fast, we're not really ahead of schedule. But despite that, um, you know, if you see the schedule, we've got a lot coming your way very soon. Um, so I think after this intermission, we've got, uh, Mighty Number no. 9 by Tempest Mask 1000, uh, specifically for the category of any percent. Uh, so definitely get hyped for this, and especially because for this one, the incentive of the boss rush has been met, so there will be extra challenge going into that run. Um, we might need a bit of patience on your side, uh, uh, the, uh considering, uh, the schedule, but... This run will definitely be coming your way after a short intermission. So thank you everyone, and we'll be seeing you very soon.